just south of St. Petersburg is Sarasota, Florida. Of course, Sarasota is the spring training home of the Orioles at Ed Smith Stadium, and the renovations of Ed Smith Stadium continue. Today, Andy McPhail, president of baseball operations, and the team skipper Buck Showalter took a tour, got an update on the project, and Janet Marie Smith, the Orioles' vice president of planning and development, invited us down and took a look, and we got an update and a look at the progress of the beautiful hey, Janet, stadium. we're on the corner of Euclid and 12th, and when we left here in late March last year, it didn't look anything like this. What is going on here? It's uh, pretty exciting. What do you got going? Well, it is a fabulous reconstruction of the Ed Smith Stadium, and it's so nice to call Sarasota home. Uh, the government's been wonderful to work with. Our fans have just been terrific, and we're thrilled that this project is on time, and it's going to be finished by February the 15th. All right, what about some of the amenities? Because obviously this is uh, beyond a shell of what it used oh. to be. What have you added here? Well, we've added a lot of square footage to the building and given it a whole new face. We're trying very hard to listen to what our fans said, which is we want more shade, we want more um, ability to use the site, we don't just want to sit in the sun, so we've added two, two levels of concourse, all new concessions, double the number of restrooms that are here, done things that are environmentally correct, such as using reclaimed water for the toilets. Uh, we've got a concourse that lines up with the back of the grandstand, so you can stand anywhere along the playing field and watch the game. That's the standing room area with a bar stool. There are places for wheelchairs. One of the things that Peter Angelos wanted us to do was to incorporate a lot of elevators in this building, recognizing that our fan base is older. We want to make it easier for them to get to this shade. So we have an unprecedented four elevators in our spring training facility. Um, the stair towers and the elevators give it some architectural prominence, which gives it a nice presence on the street. It is Florida, so we've done all we could do to preserve the landscaping. Some of the trees on this site are over 100 years old. We've kept all of those added to them. Um, and basically what we tried to do is to take the infrastructure that was already here and just add to it. And when you look at that, to me, it still seems to have the intimacy that spring training is famous for with the fans interacting with the players. It doesn't look like you've altered any of that. No, we really tried hard to keep that. It's another thing we heard from our fans is we want to be able to watch the players as they go to the clubhouse. We like watching the visiting team as they load the bus. So we tried to protect the players and make it safe for them. Um, it, but we wanted to make sure our fans felt like this was spring training. So all of that has been designed in a way that really allows a lot of interaction. The Orioles made a conscious decision to leave the facade of the Ed Smith stadium from the late 1980s in place behind us. You can see the letters. So when you ask what's new and what's old, it's pretty obvious. The 30,000 square feet that we're standing on now is the new and behind us is the old. We left it all in place because it made very good sense from a financial perspective, from an environmental perspective, and we were able to build this park in almost half the time because there was so much here to work with already. We're standing here at the grandstand at the Ed Smith Stadium. The grandstand seats will continue back so that the concourse behind us will continue about 20 feet um, further toward the street. That will allow fans to get up out of their seats, come back, not miss any of the plays, get a hot dog, go to the restroom, take an inning in the shade, just get out of the sun. It's one of the wonderful things about this ballpark is it lends itself to a lot of mobility within the park without losing uh, the game. We've added concessions here, we've added restrooms, we're bringing the seats from Camden Yards south, a little bit of Baltimore to Sarasota, and those will be installed this offseason. We'll be adding some seats to the first front row so that we'll have more seats on the playing field, filling in some of the cross aisles, adding new vomitories, and of course we'll get a new scoreboard this fall. You can also see that the dugouts are being revamped. We're adding restrooms in the home team dugout. That's the first, so that our players don't have to go all the way back to the clubhouse here in right field uh, during the game. We'll be doing the same thing in both bullpens. Home team bullpen will be in right field, and we'll have a new bullpen for the visiting team in left field. We've set it up so that their buses come in left field, so um, our fans can sit outside and watch them load the bus post-game. Um, and I mentioned earlier that we're refurbishing all the seats, so the concrete work is being redone. Um, and in just a few weeks, we'll start to see the seats come out of Baltimore. They'll be refurbished off-site and be brought in so that we have a little bit of our home away from home here. So the renovations continue, and as you can see, the shell is growing around what was the original structure. And when the Orioles head for spring training next year for 2011, it will be a pristine, state-of-the-art facility as Andy McFan and Buck Showalter will run their 2011 spring training.